So I wanted to do something a bit different. We did this before. I'm going to ask you 20 questions. That's right. Yeah. Uh, when you're doing your weight cut. So I'm sorry about that. You're all right. But um, so I'm going to ask you some questions. Fire away. Take your time. Go as quick as you want. Mm -hmm. Who wins in a fight? A grizzly bear with fins and gills or a great white shark with legs and lungs? Ooh. Ooh. My mind. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I'd say a great white. Depends on depends on where they're fighting. Where they're fighting? Uh, in the sea, if it's the bear with the things, or in the land, if it's the shark with the legs. Uh, if they fight at the beach, I feel like the the grizzly will be smart enough to draw the shark into the water. So yeah, I say the grizzly with the fins. What's the worst thing you got caught for at school? Not wanking. <laughs> What's more amusing, a reaction to a cage size or a reaction to dyeing your hair? Hmm, the reaction to dyeing my hair, because I don't understand how grown men get in their feels about a man dyeing his hair. What's the worst thing about doing a spider? Oh, uh, the spider circuit. The worst thing about that, um, the infamous spider circuit, the worst thing about that is probably, probably Eugene yelling at you. Yeah. You know how everyone always asks you, oh, if you weren't a fighter, what would you be? Mm -hmm. If Paul Acosta wasn't a fighter, what would he be? Fuck, he would be, who? he'd definitely be... Oh, that's a good one. Let me think. I want to. I don't want to rush this. Paulo Costa. If he wasn't a fighter, he would be that guy. That guy that tries to hit on milfs at the bar in a resort in Brazil, and then he'll never call them and have like probably twenty different kids all over the United States. Yeah. You have to get rid of one for the rest of your life. Being able to listen to the ocean waves or bird song? Mm, nah, bird song. What's the greatest rivalry in UFC history? Ooh, Silver versus Sonnen. You, have to, you can overturn one result in fight history. Which result overturned has the biggest impact on the sport? Oh, uh, yo, um, Demetrius Johnson. Oh, the biggest impact on the sport. Yeah. Uh, I think Demetrius Johnson versus Ian Ian McCall is his name? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ian McCall, yeah. Um, that's right. That, that was a tie, and they after the fight found that it should have gone to one more round. So I'd say yeah, I'd overturn that and have one more epic round. What is one Nigerian expression or word that the English language could benefit from knowing? Uh huh. Oh, well, I like these questions. Okay, let me see. One Nigerian expression that the English language could benefit from knowing. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll get it, you'll get it. You're now represented in the animal kingdom by a puma. What's mm. Paul Acosta represented by? He's represented in the animal kingdom. Hmm, let me see. If I look big, dumb, and full of steroids, a farm bull. What is one truth people just need to grow up and realize about the world? We're all one. Like, actually. Like, that's something I, I realized on one of my trips. It's just, yeah, we're all one. We're all hanging out together, but we've been made to think that we're not the same, that we're all different. We should embrace our differences and realize that we are. It is what makes us beautiful. It is what makes us great. But it's a political answer or diplomatic answer, but it's just something, I, like I said, I realized when I was in tune. Now, yeah, we're all one. It's a more positive answer than I was expecting, but it's true. Yeah. Who plays Eugene Barryman in a movie about your life? Fuck, that's a good one. <laughs> King Gore Beard? Jeffrey St. Liar? <laughs> oh, let me see. Okay, a famous person. If I'd say a famous... Right now, I'd say Russell Crowe. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Russell Crowe? Yeah, Russell Crowe would be a good one. He'll be a good one. Yeah. Jeff? Jeff, fuck. Um, what's his name? Yeah. Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> what would a better superpower be in real life? Copy paste or undo? Mm, copy paste. I don't want to undo. Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, George Foreman, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder. Past versus present, what three matchups do you make? Fuck. Okay. They were bred differently back then. Honestly, I'd say that them back in the day. They were if you had to match like Ali with one of the present oh, Okay, I see, I see. Okay, say it again. So Ali, Frazier, Foreman, Joshua, Wilder, Fury. Who fights who? Ali, Frazier, 
Foreman, uh, Joshua, Fury, and Wilder. Huh. I'd like to see Joe Frazier versus Wilder. I'd like to see Foreman versus Joshua. I see Ali versus, um, what's his name? Tyson Fury. Yeah, that would be mad. Yeah, that would be a good one. But I, so I was like, mm, I just I want to see Joe. Smoking which, Joe. Which fight on the UFC roster is the piccolo of the UFC? Huh? Huh? Oh, on the UFC ro fighter? Yeah, which fighter is the Oh, piccolo? come on, man. Uh, on the UFC roster, the piccolo. Piccolo. Hmm. Hmm. Trying to, trying to think. I was thinking Krillin, but now I'm thinking Piccolo, Piccolo. Someone stoic, doesn't say much, quite powerful. I'd say Yannick. Yannick can be a Piccolo of the UFC. Okay. If you were a James Bond villain, what would your evil goal be? Goal. One million. No, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> I already got more than that. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. If I, if I was an evil villain, James, my goal would be... Do I want to take over the world? It's up to you, whatever you want to do. Maybe Fuck. Some real estate scam you're running. Mm, I am a Nigerian prince. I am a Nigerian prince. <laughs> um, let me see. If I was... Oh, that's a good question. I like these. These are fun. If I was a James Bond villain, I will... I will spread a virus through the waterways of the world that kills people who wipe back to front. A valid, valid cause. What do MMA media need to get better at doing? Um, MMA media need to get better at, honestly, some of them need to get better at respecting the fighters. Respecting the fighters in, in the right way by not asking probing questions. And I understand journalists are supposed to do that. But sometimes some of you, yes, you, some of you do that with the stupid probing questions like I can't run over and kick your ass. I know you might try and sue me, but, you know, we're just sparring. That jokes. Ha ha. Nah. Um, I'd say, yeah, just respect the fighters a little bit more and just understand that we put our fucking lives on the line so you can fucking report. Well, hopefully, with that in mind, this isn't too personal a question, but you're if, right. you're, if you're only able to listen to one Ricky Martin song for the rest of your life, is it She Bangs, She Bangs, or Live in the Vida Loca? Uh, out of those two, definitely Live in la Vida Loca. In your mind, but I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> in your mind, is there an overlap, and if so, what is it, between Maori culture and dance culture? Overlap. Ooh. The expression, pretty much. The raw expression of dance culture when dancers, when you look at their, their body language, their faces... And the spirit, yeah, especially in Crump, I feel like there's definitely an overlap because you can either look at, like, the haka and be like, what the hell are they doing? Like, I don't understand. It's not westernized enough for me. But then you can understand the culture and where it comes from, the mana, the spirit that's behind it. And you can appreciate it for what it is. Same thing with dance culture. And the last question for me, what is Israel Adesanya underrated at? What am I underrated? Uh, not wanking.